Hello there, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority and today I would like to talk to you a bit about cameras, specifically about optical zoom and digital zoom. And the question before us today is this, how can a smartphone which has a fixed focal length lens offer optical zoom? Well, let me explain. So let's start by talking about the difference between optical zoom and digital zoom. Now if you have a compact camera or a DSLR camera, you may well have a zoom lens on it. Now when we're talking about zooming, what we're really talking about is moving the focal length from one setting to another setting. And inside the lens housing, you'll actually find the different parts of the mechanism are moving closer and further apart to change how the light moves through the lens and when it arrives at the sensor. Now basically when you're using optical zoom, there is no change in quality because the light is being manipulated before it hits the sensor. And the sensor still takes the photo using its full resolution and using all of its uh, full uh, color and light capabilities and nothing is altered digitally. It all happens in the lens housing before the light actually gets to the sensor. And when we talk about one time zoom, two times zoom, three times zoom, what we're actually talking about is going from one focal length to another that's twice as large. If you go from 50 millimeters to 100 millimeters, that's two times zoom. So for example, here I have one of my Canon DSLR cameras and I've got a 55 to 250 zoom lens on it. And as I start to rotate the zoom part here, the mechanism inside is moving the different parts of the lens closer and further apart. And if you go from 55 to 250, well, 250 divided by 50 is five times. So it's roughly a 5X, a five times zoom lens. Now digital zoom is different. Digital zoom happens all inside the camera and it's to do with how the sensor is taking the photograph. If you think about it, if you take a, a nice 18 megapixel photo of something that's quite far away, if you crop that down to maybe only a three or a four megapixel photo, you can actually bring some of the objects much closer as they would appear in the photo. But doing so, you lose resolution. Or of course you could crop it down to the smaller area that you want to zoom in and then kind of resize it back up to a full 18 megapixels and then of course you lose some of the quality. But that's basically what digital zoom is. The camera basically either crops it down and produces a smaller photo or it actually crops it down and then kind of uh, magnifies it again in software, doubling up the pixels so that you get a bigger picture, zoomed in picture, but actually you've lost a lot of the quality. And of course that also means a lot of noise can get introduced. Now there are some very clever algorithms that can be used inside of the camera, inside of your phone for doing this kind of digital zoom. But at the end of the day, what's actually happening is the same amount of light, the same large picture is being presented to the lens and then in software it's being manipulated so that only a part of that is shown and because it's only a part, it seems as if it's bigger. Now smartphones come with a fixed focal length uh, lens. There is no mechanism for twisting the tube and making the lens uh, go closer and farther apart. It's a fixed focal length. So how can phones offer optical zoom when there's no optics that can actually zoom? Well, optical zoom is an option that you find on dual camera setups. Now there are two main types of dual camera setups available today. One is where both uh, lenses on both cameras are exactly the same. They're both exactly the same focal length, but maybe one has different properties. So maybe one focuses more on monochrome or on light gathering, while the other one focuses on color and of course taking the detail of the picture. The alternative setup which you find on phones like the OnePlus 5 and you find it on the iPhone 7 Plus is that actually the two lenses have different focal lengths. So if one of them, for example, has a focal length of 24 millimeters and then the other one has a focal length of 48 millimeters, that would give you the option of having a two times optical zoom. Now on the recently announced OnePlus 5, there is a difference in the focal length between the two lenses of around 1.6. And so what the uh, OnePlus is able to do is that when you go zoom in digitally beyond 1.6, it can switch over to the other lens and then give you that optical zoom further on using the uh, second lens. Now actually they claim a two times optical zoom and what they're really doing is from 1.6 to two, they're actually just doing some cropping, not some magnifying, some cropping so that the picture, the resulting picture, although it might be slightly smaller, is actually giving you two times zoom without using a digital magnification. Now of course an interesting question is what happens if you want just 
1.3 times zoom or 1.4 times zoom, which is in between the level of these two lenses. Well, here there's probably two things going on. There's probably uh, uh, some just some digital zooming going on on the smaller lens until you get closer to the bigger lens. And then there's probably, a, like all dual camera setups, there'll be a combination of the light coming into both one picture and the other to perform some kind of processing which will be done on the ISP, the image signal processor on the smartphone to produce the best results. Now, while we have a slightly different solution with their hybrid zoom, because what they have is the same fixed focal length on both lenses. However, one would be maybe a 20 megapixel uh, sensor and the other might be, let's say, something like a 12 megapixel sensor. That's roughly what Huawei are doing. And they're again using both sensors with different amounts of information to kind of give you that zoom effect. But it's not an optical zoom and they're quite rightly calling it a hybrid zoom. So to recap, optical zoom is actually only available on a smartphone when there is a dual lens setup and one lens actually has its optics set to be a greater magnification than the other lens. And then using clever software, the phone is able to interpolate between those two and give you this kind of optical zoom from one setting to the other. And of course, this is one of the great advantages of using a dual camera setup with two different focal length uh, lenses. And we're seeing dual cameras becoming the standard now for flagship smartphones. Now, if you want more detail about how optical zoom and digital zoom works inside a smartphone, there's a great article over at the AndroidAuthority.com website by Robert Triggs, which really does deal with this in greater depth than I've been able to cover now in this few minute video. Well, I'm Gary Sims from Android Authority. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Android Authority's YouTube channel. Hit that bell icon so that you get notifications whenever we publish a new video. Please follow me on Twitter. And last but not least, don't forget to go over to androidauthority.com because we are your source for all things Android.